Emergency responders in Kiryat Bialik survey the debris and burnt out vehicles. Part of the aftermath of a barrage of more than 100 Hezbollah rockets launched from Lebanon into northern Israel, one came down 100 metres from the home of Avi and his family. We heard sirens in the morning. I went down to the shelter with my baby and my wife. After a couple minutes, we heard a boom. I live 100 metres from here. My house was damaged. I ran out without shoes, without a shirt, only with my pants. I ran to this house while everything was still on fire, trying to see if there were other people. This scale of rocket fire hasn't been seen here in almost two decades since the last war between Hezbollah and Israel. The last time in 2006, uh, there was less rockets like uh, we got today. Because I had maybe 10 rockets, something like this. Only on Saturday evening, Israeli authorities had warned that a rocket attack could be imminent and announced new security measures. We are taking all the necessary precautions. Gatherings in closed buildings will be limited to 300 people and outdoor gatherings will be limited to 30 people. The overnight attack sent thousands of civilians into bomb shelters. Hezbollah said its targets were Israeli military sites in response to the wave of deadly device explosions targeting its members just days ago and Friday's airstrike in Beirut. The latest bombardment hit a deeper and wider area than the typical exchanges of fire on the Israeli-Lebanon border, which have been happening near daily since the war in Gaza began. The UN warns that this newest escalation of the long-simmering conflict is bringing the region to the brink of catastrophe.